Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, today we're going to be driving the Porsche GT2 RS. It is probably the most expensive and the craziest Porsche that's ever been made. This is our new director of vehicle operations, Doug Malone. Anyway, I guess should we should we take it for a Let's go check it out. Yeah, okay. Should be pretty fun. It has 
all kinds of manual stuff on it. It doesn't have manual window adjustments. Or the seat, the seat is manual. Yeah, the seat's manual. Place the fore and aft, but I think there's a... Yeah, you can go up and down. Up and down on the button. Switch over there somewhere. Yeah. is a bit hard that's my only complaint with the car is it's like getting into a drag car with uh, a big roll cage in it so just don't film me getting out of it because yeah. that's kind of embarrassing you no know, the acceleration is really smooth the transmission shifts yeah really flawlessly it's got the PDK transmission in it. Which is that the dual clutch? It is it's dual clutch, so it's got the paddle shifters here on the wheel, and you can also shift it with uh, with this. So if you go forward, it's down, so it shifts down a year. Same now what the paddle gear. shifters would do. Yeah, this it's the same thing as a paddle shifter. You just want to use the shifter but or the paddle. You want control. to just use the shifter. Does 
have a Nürburgring lap time, Nürburgring Nordschleife lap time, and this is a record set. This car is a lot faster than the Corvette ZR1 and the McLaren 720S, and not to mention the Huracan Performante, which would be the closest rival to this car. For any car to be somewhat comparable to this, you'd have to be spending half a million dollars to over a million dollars, pretty much, so. And that would buy you what, for that price? Oh, you? you could buy a Ford GT for that price. Uh, it still wouldn't be the same performance as this car. Uh, you could buy uh, Porsche 918. I Really, all of them, there's nothing really comparable to this car, uh, since this is the new record holder at the Nürburgring. See how the brakes work. I guess we... These are Porsche brakes. Yes. Um, like six cylinder? I think so. Yeah. Man, that stuff's fast though. Brings it right back down. Yeah, it does. It? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so it's got great steering, a good feel. Um, I think everything, it's got the, the traction's obviously great. I think the main thing is that the Michelin Pilot Sport Cup 2 tires that are on it is really what makes it the fastest car at the Nürburgring. So that's, that's what I understood was the thing that really makes it a fantastic car. Talk about how um, powerful this car is, which it you know, definitely is. But when you're driving and you ride in it, it just you feel like you're completely in control of it. You know? Yeah, you don't like it's kind of. Yeah, it I'm sure it like, very easily could get away from you, but you don't feel like. I mean, it feels very safe. No matter which way you are going or where you're turning the car, it's uh, it's got some precision to the steering. So for this car to be anywhere close to three hundred fifty thousand dollars, it needs to be uh, pretty much exactly what it is. So uh, to get anything somewhat comparable, you'd be spending half a million dollars to over a million dollars. Wow. Um, and that would get you stuff like the LaFerrari and the Bugatti Veyron, which is really just good in straight lines. Are you going to let this old man drive it? You want to drive it? I want to drive it. Okay. It's like getting over a roll cage, like it was saying. It's easier to get in than it is to get back out. It is, yeah. Boy, it just really grabs the road. It does. This is just fun to drive. It is fun to drive. So the top speed of this car is 211 miles an hour. Rolling, but that's where the limit is. So if the car had no limiter on it, it would go 223 miles an hour. Well, Drew, I want your mom to still like me, so I'm not going to try to take up to that speed. <laughs> that's probably a probably a good idea. Anyway. Probably a good idea. And if you want to check out the actual engine of this car, uh, there's not much to look at if you open the back bonnet. Just a um, just some plastic cover, coolant fans, a plastic cover, uh, the GT2 RS logo, 